Now, that being said, that doesn't mean that we should we should avoid using the air handling function. The air handling function is great, um, and it should be used. And it's the easiest way to leverage the air, air handling function is to uh, do the constraint lookup. And uh, the example for the air handling function that you'll find in the documentation um, does this. So uh, this is all stuff that's very easily obtainable from online. The one thing that I don't like about only relying on the air handling function for my errors is that, as I mentioned before, it can create a frustrating user experience because in order for the air handling function to, sh to generate a message, an error must have happened. In other words, something went wrong. Okay, So we want to try to catch those as validations before they actually go wrong. And that way we can create a much better user experience. I'll show you. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And a very brief look at this. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time here. I just want to point out that in the air handling function, I just want to point out that this is the code I'm referring to. Um, and this is all provided by Apex. I didn't really modify anything here, except for I think I uncommented out a couple things. Um, but basically, all that's happening is the Apex uh, air handler was able to figure out if it was a constraint violation, what the constraint name was, and then it will actually probe a table for a lookup value. And ultimately, it'll select a message from that lookup table and set the uh, return message to it. The other really cool thing about this is it also tries to figure out uh, if there's any related page item. Okay, and it will set it for you. Let's look at, let's watch this uh, kind of uh, happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my validation. And again, I'm gonna use my build option to say it is commented out. So my validations will no longer run. And I'm gonna let the database uh, catch this. So I'm gonna set my salary to 6,000, and then I'm also going to have a duplicate name. And I'm gonna go ahead and say apply changes. I did, the database or the error handling function did catch this issue and give me a good error and flag the field that was responsible. So I can fix this issue, no problem. And I'll say apply changes. And then I get another error separate, right? The error handling function has a hard time displaying multiple errors at the same time, but it's still incredibly helpful as a backup for when you get to when you forget to validate something ahead of time. We'll go ahead and set this back to King. And I'll go ahead and apply changes. Did you create the is commented out option? If so, how is this implemented to prevent an object from processing? Uh, sure. Um, I did create it. It's not created by default. Uh, it's something that I, I create very often. Um, there's actually there's two build options that I create very often that I think are very helpful for Apex developers. And the, the two options are this. Um, if I go into shared components, there's a little area here called build options. And what I did is I created a new one and I called it is commented out. And essentially all you do is you just set the status to exclude. Uh, and the comment here says, use this instead of the never condition to suppress components that you do not wish to run, but also do not wish to delete, right? As effectively commenting it out. The other thing that you can do that's kind of similar to this, uh, you can say uh, dev only, and I'll say the status is include. So in other words, while I'm working in this environment, show it, but when I export this application, exclude it. So that just means I don't have to remember, I don't have to go back and turn off things that I turned on for my development. So if you have an extra dynamic action or an extra report uh, to get shows like collection values or something like that, just flag them as dev only. And that way you don't have to keep track of what you turned on and what you didn't. It just automatically turns itself off. Okay, so you can see this one is green for include. When I export this application, it'll flip the other way. Great question. 